Hi Pisces, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Pisces regarding love this week. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week ahead. All right. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm really, really grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you for the love and support. I hope you continue supporting me. Yeah. And if you haven't already, please do. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces, your overall energy for this week. I'm sorry. Your overall energy for this week, Pisces, is the Two of Swords. All right. You have the Queen of Cups. The Five of Swords. And then the Seven of Cups. All right. The Ten of Wands. The Five of Cups. And then the Five of Pentacles. All right. There's indecision here. You have choices. Kind of like the Sag reading. If you have Sag placements... It's kind of that reading, all right? You have someone returning. You really do. All right. So your challenge for this week is a judgment card. As I said, um, the judgment card, as I've said before, the judgment card is a return card, all right? So the challenge here is whether or not you want to accept this return, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm hearing very clearly that this caught you off guard. This return caught you off guard. So expect a lot of communication coming in this week. Your person showing up again in your, your ex, your ex, your past person showing up again in your world, all right? It's going to give you a lot of anxiety, all right? You have the two of swords, as I said. It's going to give you a lot of anxiety. Are you giving this person another chance, all right? Are you giving this person another chance? I'm seeing you, you know, ah, it's a decision that you really have to make. It's making you super anxious, all right? It's making you super anxious, super um, defensive, all right? Currently, you, you have actually accepted this breakup in the past or this separation that you've had all right you're currently really loving yourself so much there's a lot of self-love here you're really um nourishing and nurturing yourself um that's normal all right it's normal to love yourself first before anything else before giving love to someone else all right you cannot pour from an empty cup so you have to love yourself first okay i'm hearing that you have already you know accepted that you had to let go of all the baggage from the past there was a lot of burden there was a lot of pain and hurt and it was very heavy for you all right i'm hearing that this person actually loves you so much but there were so many things in the relationship that you know that you two have really gone through that really tested you and really wounded you as the relationship go uh you know as the relationship progresses all right so wow that was that was kind of deep all right so i'm hearing your person who's trying to come back to you you're actually very very not very very negative but you're not really how can i say this this person who wants to return to you 
you know <clears throat> this person has really showed you that they are a win at all costs kind of person all right um i'm hearing they are very selfish all right they always want to get it get their way they never or seldomly consider you or your opinions it's more of they just want to win all right they want to get it it's their way or the highway it's a their way my way or the highway kind of person and it's very selfish all right it's very selfish and although this person has a very deep connection with you either in this life or even in the past life right now or you've experienced a lot of selfishness from this person during the relationship and that is what is triggering you a lot it's really triggering you you're very defensive you're very you know you're very defensive all right i'm hearing you are at your personal best right now you're you are at your very best right now but this person really keeps on triggering you <clears throat> And more so na are and more so because they are returning um they are trying to return and go uh, get back with you all right hmm this person really left you out in the cold and really left you hanging really left you isolated all right okay suddenly felt sad not all returns are happy well for me take it how it resonates all right let's see the overall outcome of this spread all right okay 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 so pisces you have the eight of wands the ten of cups and then the eight of cups all right it could be a significant uh, number for you or fives take it how it resonates or tens all right all right so eight of cups i see you walking away from a situation that you think no longer serves you all right if you've outgrown the situation if you've outgrown the situation then it's okay if you want to walk away if you want to come back to the situation you know you have to have at least negotiables i'm hearing negotiables why all right it's more on setting boundaries i guess it's more on setting boundaries with your person all right because I'm hearing this person was very selfish. So if you want to come back to the situation, you have to have boundaries, you have to set boundaries, but you know, it's more on I'm see you I'm seeing you walking away from this situation. You will have your happy ending eventually. You will find someone who would want the same things that you want, uh, a happy family, a happy home, a long and lasting relationship, all right? and yeah expect a lot of communication with this person with your ex person or with someone new there's going to be a lot of communication in the next you know few days which is nice let's see the advice of spirit what is the advice of spirit we're not gonna take the entire bunch all right what is the the advice of spirit okay so you have <laughs> the three of swords the nine of cups and then the strength card so yes it's going to take a lot of strength for you to walk away but please be please be compassionate please be compassionate um you know hurt people hurt people and your person needs a lot of compassion whether or not you want to walk away from the situation 
whether or not you want to heal the situation it has to take a lot of compassion and understanding because your person i feel has been very hurt either these are childhood wounds or wounds that has de has developed during the relationship or their past relationships all right bottom line here is they need a lot of compassion all right and i'm hearing this this is something that you're really really uh you really really give because you are the queen of cups someone who's very compassionate you have the nine of cups follow your bliss follow your happiness at the same time you will get that that dream your wish that that you've been asking for for a very long time which is a happy family happy home a long lasting long-term relationship and then you have the three of swords all right look at how hurt this person is you have to heal at the same time you have to learn the silver linings from this hurt from this pain all right hmm okay let's see some oracle cards let's cap off your reading with some oracle cards all right you have unrequited love unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going unrequited love which aspect of love do you need to focus on this week? We'll take the ones that flipped. All right. You have loyalty. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. And then past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space all right there's a lot of transformation here there's a lot of growth all right let's give you wisdom of the oracle ah! okay that really wanted to come out all right between worlds number three which is the empress card between worlds all right so let's see this is a time to explore the new energy between you and another it is not a moment for certainty but rather for discovery and curiosity you don't yet know if this will last forever so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is, what is reflected back to you this relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? What are the critical phase? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. All right. So yeah, thing is, if you want to heal the situation, go ahead. You have your free will. But it's all always up to you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching i love you all um i hope you have a good week if you if you, this i mean if this read uh, what is happening if this reading resonated for you please like this video and leave a comment down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do um all the readings in the chat and this channel are free i love you all thank you so much have a great week and stay blessed